Hello everyone. So welcome back to my channel again. So in this video, we are going to discuss how cos theta value is always less than or equals to 1. Okay. So let's discuss that. And in my previous video, I have discussed why sine theta value is always less than or equals to 1. Okay. So please go through both the videos and let's start. Cos theta is also like sine theta. The value of cos theta is less than equals to 1, right? How? Let's take this thing. We know that we know that cos theta is equals to base over base over hypotenuse, right? So suppose I am drawing a right angle triangle, triangle ACB in which angle C is 90 degree. If C is 90, then A and B are acute. That's the property of right angle triangle, right? So we know that hypotenuse in any right angle triangle, it is the longest side. The slant side is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. Longest means AB will be larger than AC and BC. If AB is larger than AC and BC, it means the denominator is greater. The denominator is greater than the numerator, right? Numerator is smaller. And when this happen, that the denominator is greater than the numerator, like for example, 1 over 2, the answer you will get is like 0 point something always. So it is always less than 1. It is always less than 1. So this is one of the thing that y cos theta value is always less than 1. Next. Next we have to understand when cos theta is equals to 1. Okay. So this is our next question. When cos theta is equals to 1. So we have learned in the starting stage of learning trigonometry that cos 0 is equals to 1. But how? That is the main question. So let's take, suppose this circle is a unit circle. Unit circle is a circle in which the radius is equals to 1. Okay. Now this is positive x. Everybody know this is negative x. This is positive y and this is negative y and this is the intersection point OA. Suppose I have drawn a hypotenuse here. This has perpendicular and this has base. I have taken a triangle OAB. Okay, OAB. And I am taking this angle as theta. Theta, I uh, just uh, take it theta only. Okay, take it theta only. And angle B is equal to 90 degree. Now, please understand it very carefully. If I will ask you, what are the coordinates of A? So coordinates, you will write coordinates as X comma Y. You will write it as x comma y. So what are the coordinates of point A? So the coordinates of point is x comma y. Okay, now I will ask you what is cos theta? Cos theta is equals to base over hypotenuse. Okay, what is base? Base is OB and hypotenuse is 1. So cos theta is equals to OB. Okay, now what is sine theta? Sine theta is equals to P over H. What is P as per angle theta? It is AB by 1. That is sine theta is equals to AB. Is that clear? So what is OB? What is the length? If I will ask you the coordinates of point A. So point A lies over here. I am changing the color. So point A lies. So this point is a y axis which is AB. And X is what? OB. It's a length. Okay, so now the coordinates of point which I have taken x comma y, it will become cos because OB comma AB and what is OB? It is cos theta and what is uh, AB? It is sine theta. Okay, so these are the coordinates of point A. Now, when this theta is equals to 0, when this theta, when theta is equals to 0, you know that when there is no angle, so OA will coincide, OA will coincide with OB. Okay, when there is no angle, this is zero angle, this line will completely coincide with this, right? So it means what are the coordinates? Now this point A reach here, will reach here, okay? And this point A will reach here. 
the coordinates are same cos theta and sin theta if i will ask you the coordinates of point a here so what you will say on x axis the coordinates are the coordinates are x comma 0 and what is x this complete line is what it is one only na? the radius is one so one comma 0 so when i am comparing cos theta sin theta at angle 0 it will become 1 comma 0 so what is cos theta cos theta is equals to 1 when when theta is equals to 0 and what is sin 0 sin 0 is equals to 0 so this is the proof that cos 0 is equals to 1 is that clear okay so thank you everyone